Thank you. With the Tea Sploss referendum coming up for a vote in July, do you personally support the tax? And if so, what road projects would you recommend the funds being directed to? Thank you. Candidate Mike Abernathy. I think I would probably vote for it if I was if we were pushing it. I would have to say yes. And, uh, you know, we brought in, in 1993, the Splash Tax brought in $11 million to put our landfill in with. 97 was Splash in. And it brought in $30 something million. Dollars. And then the 203 Splash brought in $90 million. Dollars. We may have seen a lot of good things in Marco County with these Splash. When you're talking about when the Splash Tax came out, you're just talking about a penny or two more on your taxes. And everybody's sharing this tax. Don't miss my property tax. Miss the splash taxes if you want to. That's a little bit more fair for everybody. And if it's going to get to highways, we're getting in Marto County. has got some roads that really need repair. I go along with Steve because we got a lot of road work that really needs needs work. And uh, you know we've got nine new fire, uh, only three new fire stations out of this uh, public safety training systems out over here. And uh, there's just a lot of good things. We bought a lot of things with these splash tanks. And this piece of splash, I know big people are going to be at Atlanta probably, but um, I think for our county, like Steve said, I believe it would be best for us to have All right. Thank you. <laughs> Prior to the passage of Obamacare, then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said that we had to pass the bill to see what was in it. And once the bill passed, we saw that it was a monstrosity that worsened health care delivery and doubled the projected cost in only two years. Today, a hot, button, a hot button topic is the upcoming vote on the t plus bill. The question, do you support the Transportation Investment Act? And if so, have you read the text of the bill to find what hidden provisions it may contain, which might make us regret passing it? And we will start with Mr. Abernathy. I looked at this t plus bill and looked at it and looked at it. I've looked at Everybody from the Chamber of Commerce viewpoint to the state, Jeff Lewis's representation, Tracy, and I've looked at everything I can look at. And uh, I, I know you're not going to get this out in 90 seconds, but uh, as far as the T-Splash, it would be great if we could pay for the highway, $10 million tax, I mean, 10-year tax and a one penny tax, but the $18, $19 billion that's going to bring in. If we, in our district, there's 860,000 voters in this region one, that is going to be represented. Bartow County will be a part of that with those 15 counties, and they may vote this in whether we do or not. And if they do, according to what I can gather, that that tax revenue for that 15 peak county seat right there, that region one, is going to hold that money, and it's not going to be spread out all over the state. We're not going to be paying. That was my radical move. I was not going to pay for Marta if I could avoid it. I would have towed the signs up and down the highway. But uh, I think that what we see now is a $1.4 uh, million, dollar, billion dollars for Bartow County that we could assess bringing into the county. I'm still in the learning mode for this, and I'm leaving myself open here. We're going to face this and on July 31st. We've got to know and we've got to vote, and I'm trying to educate myself as much as I can that we need to get these roads finished up. We've got to get them, but I don't want roads hanging out there half done. I want complete funded projects that are going to be substantial. We can get them done. This is Thank this could be a good problem. Thank you. No way to answer. Thank you. Um, I haven't been in Bartow County very long, but since I've been here, I've had information on this transportation splash run down my throat. So <laughs> I'm just anxious to know: um, Are you in favor or opposed to it? And uh, if it fails to pass. Uh, what would be your solution to uh, traffic funding? All right, for that question goes to Mike Cabernet. <laughs> no. <That's easy. laughs> I want to tell you, I, I researched this thing, and I know what, what Steve's saying, I know what everybody's saying. I've researched it, I've looked at it for myself, and there are too many ties and there are too many loose things hanging out. I look at Alabama, Alabama, this, this splash is not just, this splash is not just for the state of Georgia, but there's one going on in every state in the Union. And when you find that, you begin to look at the calendar, and you see that this is tied back to the UN 21 agenda, and it's going to be fun. And the big problem with this thing is the fact that you've got a group out there of councilmen that are put, be put in place to, to uh, handle the financing off this. We're talking about $10 million just to fund it through GLT. We don't know who's going to be handling the money on this, and it looks to me like it's not going to be organized well enough. It's just not open enough. 
And I just do not, I cannot, uh, at first I thought it was the greatest thing to slice bread because I'd like a penny to go get, uh, for us it was revenue in this northern county section for 1.487 million, 15 counties, whether it votes in or votes out, doesn't have anything to do with me. But 860,000 residents, and uh, you got too many people negatively against it. I encourage each one of you to go out there and look on the websites. Look up your uh, splash tax. Look up your T-splash. See what you got. Then look up this UN Agenda 21 and see how it's tied together. And Alabama has already said they will not allow this to come in. You got two other states that are not allowing this into their nation at all, into their state at all. Okay, thank you. My time.